Good morning, Faith Kids. How are you doing? Glad that you're tuned in. Glad that you are watching Children's Ministry. So let's get right into our word on today. Get your phones, your tablets, your Bibles, whatever it is you're reading the word of God on today. And we're going to get ready for an awesome word from the Lord on today. So let's begin, of course, in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come just to thank you for this day, God. We thank you that you are Lord over our lives. We thank you for Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who leads and guides us into all truth. And Father, we pray that as we, God, give your word to your children, God, as you speak through me, oh, Heavenly Father, God, that your children will hear your voice, God, and they will know a word that you're sending just for them, God, that you love them. Them, that you care for them, that you, God, know that you have a plan and a purpose for their lives. In your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, faith kids, let's begin on today with our word for today. Turn in your Bibles to Psalms chapter 90. And we're going to read that. And before that, I have a couple of questions before we get into that, that I want to talk about some things. So I want to ask you, fake kids, think of something that you have wanted so bad that, you know, it was just like, I have to have it. I don't know what it may be, fake kids, whether it was a toy, a game, maybe it's a pair of shoes, maybe it was some clothes, an outfit, maybe you want to play football, maybe you want to have dance classes that you wanted to take so bad. Think about that, fake kids. What is it that you may have asked your parents that you wanted so bad and it was like, I have to have it, I really need it, I, I really want to do it. Think about that. So you got it in your mind, right, fake kids, that one thing that you just had to have that game that you just, I need this game, I wanna play this game. Or that toy, I just have to have this toy. What about that favorite pair of shoes that you know you needed or that nice sweater or shirt or something that you had to have that you just like, mom, please, dad, can I? You just had to have it. So think about those things, got it in your mind. So now I'm gonna ask you this question. Were you willing to do anything to get that or to do that what was it that you said maybe you made did you make a promise and say oh i will do my chores i clean my room keep my room clean i do all my schoolwork or whatever did you say that i do whatever it takes to that i can have this that i can do this were you there fake kids did you have that experience that you know mom i do it i do it i wash the dishes i clean my room i vacuum i take out the trash I don't know, maybe, you know, do some yard work, whatever it was so that you were able to obtain what you wanted or do what you wanted. So then now let's think about that. So whether you got it or, or whatever that you received it or you got to do it, let me think about it now. Do you still have it? Is that still your most favorite thing and you still got to have it or you still got to do it? Did it last forever? Did that last forever? When you got that pair of shoes or when you got that favorite toy or game or when you got to play, you know, football or you got to do the classes, is it still the thing that you want most over anything, over everything you still want it or did it last? Or is it something that's now in your closet, you know, pushed back, you don't hardly even play with it anymore. Maybe you don't even wear it anymore. Things like that. Think about it, fake kids. You would, you know, this is something you had to have. You wanted to have so bad. But now, where is it? Did it last? So let's talk about things that last. If I had a pencil in my hand, does a pencil last forever? Does it last a long time? Of course not. And children, I know you sharpen those pencils so much, they barely last one little day, some of you, right? So pencils don't last. What about maybe your favorite toy? That's what we're talking about. Did it last forever? Forever? It's like, it just goes on. Does it last really forever? What about those pair of shoes, that nice shirt you love so much? Did it last forever? No, those things did not last forever. What, what about cars? and homes, things like that. Do they last forever? No, they too, they do not last 
forever. So let's look in our scripture verse. This is our memory verse for this week. Psalms 90, stanza number 12. Let's read it with me, faith kids. One moment. Psalms 90, and we're going to read stanza 12. So we're talking about, think about it as we're reading. Think about those things. Did they last? forever or were they just for a moment were they just temporarily were they even worth it as we got it then so let's read this verse and i'm going to read it from the king james because i just like the way it reads so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom this is our memory verse for this week hey kids it says teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom so in this verse it's telling us that we need to take account of our days of our lives that what we're doing every day think about it fake kids we have 24 hours in the day seven days a week 365 days a year that is only 8,760 hours that we have in one year. Is that a lot of time? Not really. Just 8,000 hours is not much time. And what are we doing with those hours? Are we wasting that time away? So we're going to talk about that on today because we're going to find out that our lives are so valuable, so important to God that we, and our time is so short. We should be used, be wise enough that we're spending our time and doing the things that God would have us to do, faith kids. So let's get right into our message on today. If you would turn in your Bibles, turn to Matthew chapter 13, and we're going to read a couple of verses start at verse 44. So the topic of this lesson is a pearl of great value. So we're going to be talking about something that is of great value. So in Matthew chapter 13, verse 44, we're going to read just a quick passage about this guy who was searching for something. And how he redeemed it, that it was so valuable or it was so important to him. So in Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Are you there? I know you are. You waiting on me, right? Let's read, fake kids, in verse 44. I will be in the New Living Translation. It reads, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that a man discovered hidden in a field. In his excitement, he hid it again and sold everything he owned to get enough money to buy the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant on the lookout for choice pearls. When he discovered a pearl of great value, he sold everything he owned and bought it and bought the pearl. So we're talking about a pearl of great value. We're talking about things that are, are of, of value. So let me see in the two scenarios here, fake kids, it talked about two people. One guy found a treasure in a field. The other guy was looking for a great, for a pearl, a Pacific pearl that's special, that's, you know, of great value. He was looking for something that is of great value. One person found something of great value. One was looking for something of great value, but they both did one thing. What was that fake kids? They both did one thing when they got their treasures or when they found that thing that was so of great value to them. They, the scripture says, it, they sold everything they had to be able to get that thing of value for the guy who found the treasure, whatever that treasure was, I don't know. It was a treasure to him, but he sold everything he had because he needed that treasure. He, it was more valuable than anything he had. And the guy who was looking for the pearl, he sold everything that he had when he found the pearl so that he could buy the pearl. So they both gave up everything for something that they thought would bring them great value. Think about that 
toy that you had to have? Did it really bring you great value? Fake kids. Was it so important that, you know, you had to have it? I don't know. Think about it. Think about these two guys. They said this, I got to have this treasure. I got to have this pearl. I'm going to give up everything that I have to have this treasure, to have this pearl. But let's look at it's something else it said in that scripture. It says the kingdom of heaven is like this guy who found the treasure and gave up everything for it. The kingdom of God is like this man who was looking for a great pearl that was of value and he sold everything he has for it. So if the kingdom of God is like this, meaning that the pearl, the kingdom of God is like the pearl is so valuable. It's something that you have to have. It's a, it's a treasure. So in doing things God's way in his kingdom, in his world, the way he does things, we should be valuing the kingdom of God like that. Meaning I'm going to do all that I can give all that I can to what? The kingdom of God, not to get treasures on earth. As the scripture says that we have treasures laid up on earth that don't even last. They don't, they don't even last. You know, that toy is now broken or you don't even play with it anymore. Maybe you have outgrown that, those pairs of shoes, that shirt, that sweater, the dress, maybe whatever it was that you had to have. You've now outgrown that, but guess what? The kingdom of God will last forever. And those things that we do for God will last forever always till eternity those things and how do we give god our all how do we give him everything we can't buy like the men sold everything so they can get this we can't sell enough we can't give enough that we you know to purchase god's kingdom but what can we do we can be obedient to his word we can have give our time to him time that we're praying time that we're meditating, reading his word of God, faith kids, time that we're serving and doing things for others, not just ourselves. Also, what? We give up our, our money. We talk when talking about how he blesses us when we give and we pay tithes and offerings. We can give up our gifts and talents. He's giving you special things that only you can do, that you have been blessed and he's giving that to you. You can use those gifts and those talents for the kingdom of God. That is how you give your everything to what is valuable, which is the kingdom of God. Because we know all of these things that we get, whether it's homes and cars, and you know, we want the latest technology or whatever, they're great. The God says that he can give, he give us those things for us to enjoy. He doesn't mind you having all of those things. He wants you to be abundantly blessed but it's just to enjoy. You don't put all your faith and your trust in those things because why? They will fade away or it doesn't mean anything to you anymore. But the kingdom of God, God's way of doing things will always last forever, faith kids. So this is what I want you to take away today, that everything I do should be always to please God, to do things his way, to do what he will have you to do, fake kids. Serving him, helping others, giving your time, giving your money. It's okay, read a scripture a day. You should be giving your time to the Lord. You're never too young. There was many people in the Bible, as we have studied, that were young and serving God, Jesus himself serve God the whole time he was here. He didn't wait till he got grown to begin to do his father's work. No, even from little, his mama was looking for him. And he's like, didn't you know? I'm, all, I'm doing what God, my Lord told me to do. Why you don't know that? So fake kids, you too can give your everything to help, to not help, to serve God, to do what he has called you to do. And it will last forever fake kids well that's it for today I know that you had a great time in the word on this week study your memory verse and fake kids i will see you next time bye bye